Hello how are you young man? I am good thanks a lot sir. Feel free if you want to ask me anything you can ask freely. Thanks sir yes sure. Can you tell me a little bit about yourself? Sure, I'd be happy to. I'm an Oracle Apex developer with over two years of experience in developing and maintaining software applications using Apex. In my current role, I have been responsible for designing, developing and testing various web applications using Oracle Apex. I have also worked with clients to understand their requirements and deliver solutions that meet their needs. Prior to this, I completed my bachelor's degree in computer science. In my free time, I enjoy reading up on the latest technology trends and experimenting with new programming techniques. I'm a quick learner and enjoy taking on new challenges. I'm excited about the opportunity to join your team and apply my skills and experience to contribute to the success of your projects. Great that's good. What interested you in applying for this position? I came across this position while browsing job boards and was immediately intrigued by the company's reputation for innovation and excellence in software development. I was especially drawn to the role of an Oracle Apex developer, as it is an area in which I have built my expertise over the past few years. I am impressed with the projects your company has undertaken and the focus on creating high-quality software solutions for your clients. I see this role as an opportunity to further hone my skills in Oracle Apex development while working alongside a team of talented developers. Additionally, the company's culture and values align with my own personal values, and I'm excited about the opportunity to work in a collaborative and supportive environment where I can continue to grow and develop as a professional. Overall, I believe that this position is an excellent match for my skills and experience and I'm enthusiastic about the possibility of contributing to the success of your projects. Great that's good. Okay now coming to technical question. Tell me something about Oracle Apex shortly. Oracle Application Express Apex is a low-code web application development framework that runs on an Oracle database. It allows developers to quickly build scalable, secure, and data-driven applications using a web-based interface. With Apex, developers can create forms, reports, charts, and dashboards, as well as implement business logic and security features, without needing to write a lot of code. Apex is built on the Oracle database, which provides robust data management capabilities and enables easy integration with other Oracle technologies. It is a popular choice for organizations that use Oracle databases and want to develop web-based applications quickly and efficiently. OK tell me what is low-code. Low-code is a software development approach that uses visual modeling and drag and drop interfaces to create applications instead of writing traditional code. Low-code platforms enable developers to build applications by visually defining the application logic, workflows, user interfaces, and data models, often with the help of pre-built components or templates. OK what if we got some complex requirements? Can we build that in Apex? Yes sir, it is possible to build complex requirements in Oracle Apex. While Apex is a low-code platform, it offers a robust set of features and functionality that can be used to build sophisticated web applications. Developers can leverage Apex's built-in components and libraries, as well as custom plugins and JavaScript frameworks, to extend the platform's capabilities and address complex requirements. OK what if I give application built in Oracle Forms can you convert it into Apex? Yes sir. OK good. OK tell me about types of Oracle Apex reports. Oracle Apex offers various types of reports to present data in different formats. Some of the common types of reports in Oracle Apex are, Classic Report. A classic report is a simple, tabular report that displays data in rows and columns. It is the most commonly used report type in Apex and allows for basic customization of column headings, formatting, and sorting. Interactive Report An interactive report is a dynamic and highly customizable report that provides interactive features such as sorting, filtering, highlighting, and group by. It also supports a wide range of chart types and can be customized using drag and drop interface. Pivot Report a pivot report is a report that displays summarized data in a pivot table format. It allows for dynamic column and row grouping, as well as aggregation and filtering of data. 
Interactive Grid Report A grid report is similar to a classic report, but it offers more advanced customization features such as custom column ordering, horizontal scrolling, and cell level formatting. Chart Report A chart report is a graphical representation of data that allows for visualization of trends and patterns. Apex offers a wide range of chart types such as bar, line, area, pie, and scatter charts. Calendars Apex provides a built-in calendar feature that allows users to view data in a calendar format. This feature supports different views, such as daily, weekly, and monthly views, and it can be customized to display data in different colors and formats. These are just a few examples of the types of reports available in Oracle Apex. Each report type has its own advantages and can be customized to suit the specific needs of the application. Okay good. You said reports can be customized to suit the specific needs of the application. Can you customize it right? Yes sir. Good. Tell me forms triggers in Apex. Oracle Apex doesn't have triggers like Oracle Forms, but it has similar functionality through the use of dynamic actions. Using dynamic actions, developers can implement similar functionality to triggers in Oracle Forms, such as validating data, setting default values, updating related fields, and performing calculations. However, dynamic actions provide more flexibility and are easier to maintain compared to triggers in Oracle Forms. OK tell me about Forms in Apex. In Oracle Apex, Forms are used to provide a user interface for data entry, manipulation, and retrieval. Apex Forms are typically created using the Form Region component, which is a declarative component that generates a form based on a SQL query. Apex Forms can also be customized using dynamic actions, which allow developers to define actions to be executed in response to specific user events, such as clicking a button or selecting a value from a list. Overall, Apex Forms provide a powerful and flexible way to create user interfaces for data entry and manipulation, and they can be easily customized to meet the specific needs of the application. Explain Forms components shortly. The form region component provides various layout options and customization features, such as items, allows developers to add input fields, such as text fields, select lists, and date pickers, to the form. Validation, allows developers to define validation rules for the form, such as mandatory fields, format validation, and custom place SQL validation. Processing, allows developers to define what happens when the form is submitted, such as inserting, updating, or deleting data. Navigation allows developers to define what happens after the form is processed, such as redirecting to another page or refreshing the current page. OK. Tell me about database triggers and can we use it in Apex? A database trigger is a storage program that is automatically executed in response to specific database events, such as insert, update, or delete operations on a table. Triggers can be used to enforce business rules, audit data changes, and perform complex data validation. In Oracle Apex, it is possible yes, explain process and its executions points. In Oracle Apex, a process is a declarative component that defines a set of place SQL statements or a web service to be executed in response to a specific event, such as a button click or page load. Processes are typically used to perform database operations, such as inserting, updating, or deleting data, or to call external services in a piece. There are several types of execution points available for processes in Apex, including, unload, executes when the page is first loaded. Before header, executes before the page header is rendered. Before regions, executes before the page regions are rendered. Before footer, executes before the page footer is rendered. After footer, executes after the page footer is rendered. On submit, executes when the page is submitted. On success, executes after the page is successfully processed. On error, executes if an error occurs during page processing. On load, after header, executes after the page header is rendered. Processes can be defined at different levels of the Apex application such as at the page level, region level, or application level. Processes can also be conditionally executed based on specific conditions or user input. 
Overall, processes provide a powerful and flexible way to perform custom logic and interact with external services in Apex. By defining processes at specific execution points, developers can control when and how the process is executed, and create a more dynamic and responsive user experience. Ok so how can will you differentiate between dynamic action and process in Apex? Here are some key differences between dynamic actions and processes in Apex. Purpose Dynamic actions are designed to provide a more interactive and responsive user experience, while processes are designed to perform database operations or call external services. Execution Dynamic actions are executed on the client side using JavaScript, while processes are executed on the server side using place SQL. Complexity Dynamic actions are typically used for simple actions or behaviors, while processes are used for more complex logic or database operations. Flexibility Dynamic actions provide a wide range of predefined actions and events, while processes can be customized to perform any type of place SQL or web service call. Overall, dynamic actions and processes provide different ways to execute custom logic in Apex, and developers can choose the best approach based on the specific requirements and needs of the application. What is validation in Apex? In Oracle Apex, validation is the process of checking user input or other data to ensure that it meets certain criteria or business rules. Validation is an important part of any application to ensure that the data being entered is correct and consistent with the business rules or requirements. Types of validations? Apex provides a wide range of built-in validation types that can be used to check user input, such as required, number, date, email, and regular expression. These validation types can be applied to any page item or component, such as a text field, date picker, or select list. What if I need a custom validations in Apex? Apex also allows developers to define custom validation rules using place SQL or JavaScript. Custom validation rules can be used to check for more complex criteria or business rules, such as checking for duplicate records, validating credit card numbers, or performing calculations. Simple tell me difference between procedure and function. In Oracle PLSQL, a procedure and a function are two types of program units that can be created and stored in the database for reuse. The main difference between a procedure and a function is that a procedure does not return a value, while a function does. And package. A package is another program unit in Oracle PLSQL that can contain one or more procedures, functions, variables, constants, cursors, and other program constructs. A package allows you to group related program constructs together into a single unit for better organization, encapsulation, and reuse. Difference between table and view. In Oracle, a table is a database object that stores data in rows and columns, while a view is a virtual table that is derived from one or more tables or views. Can we use other languages in Apex? Oracle Apex is primarily designed to work with Oracle Database and uses SQL and PLSQL as its primary programming languages. However, Apex also supports the use of other programming languages for certain tasks, such as JavaScript for client-side interactions and HTML-CSS for customizing the user interface. In addition, Apex allows for the integration of external web services and recipes, which can be implemented using a variety of programming languages, such as Java, Python, and PHP. While it is possible to use other programming languages in Apex for specific tasks, it is important to note that the primary language for developing Apex applications is SQL and PLSQL, and proficiency in these languages is essential for effective development in Apex. Tell me what is plugins. In Oracle Apex, a plugin is a pre-built component that provides additional functionality or customizations to an Apex application. Plugins can be developed by Oracle, third-party vendors, or Apex developers themselves. Plugins can be used to extend the capabilities of an Apex application beyond what is provided by the standard Apex components. They can be used to add new features, customize existing components, or integrate with external systems or services. Difference between authorization and authentication. In short, authentication is about verifying the identity of a user or entity, while authorization is about granting or denying access based on that identity and the user's permissions.
Thank you for taking the time to speak with us today. I wanted to let you know that you did a great job in the interview and we appreciate your interest in the position. This was the first round of interviews and we will be contacting you shortly for the next round. Please keep an eye on your email and phone for our follow-up. Thank you again for your time and interest in this opportunity. Thank you sir for letting me know that. I appreciate your feedback and I am looking forward to the next round of interviews. Please let me know if there is any additional information or documentation you need from me in order to prepare for the next round. Thank you again for considering me for this opportunity and I look forward to hearing from you soon. Yes an email be right in detail if there is any additional information or documentation we needed from you. Sure thanks sir.